All right, welcome everybody to the CD Daily Series of Calculus. Today we are going to be covering about uh, visual reasoning questions and a different type. So we, if you remember in the previous sessions of visual reasoning, I have covered up the aspects of analogy as well as the complete the series in terms of what would be the next image in the series. Today we are going to take care of the third type of visual reasoning questions, which is the odd one out. Honestly, this is the most easiest of all of them because it's very obvious kind of questions. So let's try and understand what we mean by odd one out when it comes to visual reasoning. Okay. So what you would be given is in the questions, a set of five images like you can see above is given. And out of the five, you have to select one, which is an odd. So just to give an example, this is like a very obvious question. You can easily make out that yes, fifth is going to be the odd one out option out here because it's a non-geometric figure. Rest all of them are geometric figures. So like that, you have to find a relation which exists between the rest of the four images, which the fifth one is not able to satisfy. That's what your odd one out question is. Okay. Let's take a couple of easy examples to understand more about how do you solve these visual reasoning odd one out questions. Okay. Now, if you look at these five images given to you, you have to here again select which is the odd figure. Just take 30 seconds, pause the video and quickly give in the answers. Okay, so if you look at it carefully, C is going to be the answer because all the rest of them have six enclosed spaces. If you look at A, it's a star with six boxes out there. Like, you know, if I have to look at it, I have one, two, three, four, five, six here. This is a flower with again one, two, three, four, five, six. Here we have seven, the six outside and one central one. Six here outside as well also. Here are the two triangles and the parts dividing it into three halves, which makes it six. Okay, so the answer option is C. All right, let's move to the next one. Again, take 30 seconds of time. Okay, so if I look at this question, your answer is going to be D. Why? Because if you look at them, they're all numbers. Yes, all of them are numbers, but all of them have five straight lines, except for D where you have six straight lines. So it's a mere fact of just small observation. So you have to build your knack for observate, uh, you know, observing skills like what are the number of elements there, what are the angles to other elements, are they rotating, all of these kind of things is what will help you understand the odd one figure out questions based on that. Okay. Let's look at this one again, which is there. Four of them are similar. One is different. Okay. Yes, you guys would have got it correct. It's A. Because there you have four arrowheads, whereas rest all of the images have five arrowheads in the overall figure, which is there. Okay. Now, I hope you guys have got a basic idea about what these odd one out questions are. Let's take a look at a couple of a little tricky questions, but definitely easily scoring areas for you. Okay. So, pause the video here. Give yourself two minutes of time. See all the five of them. I shall share the answers to all the five for you guys. And then let's see how many of you guys got more than three correct in this. All right. Okay. Great. So I hope you guys are ready with your answers. So when you look at the answers, if you look at the first image, there's a pentagon, triangle, square, again a pentagon and a no, parallelogram all having certain edges coming out from it. Okay. So if you notice very clearly, you see out of this, which is the odd one out, this is one. Why? Right? Because if you look at it, there are five elements, like five sides to the figure and five spokes coming out of it. Okay. Similarly, three sides, three spokes, four sides, four spokes, six sides, six spokes out here, four, four. So that's something common across all of them. Then why is this different? Reason is this, all of them, these spikes are coming out from an edge, whereas for the rest of all of them, it's originating at the side. So that is why that is the odd one out because the emerging out of is from not from the side, but it is from one of the vertex or the corner. Okay. The second one I think is a complete no brainer. Everybody should have got it. It's pretty simple. This is just not parallel. Rest all of them are parallel. Okay. Let's do the third one. When, see, when you come to this question, you see there are a lot of elements. Okay. When you have multiple elements, pick up two or three and track all of them to see what's the difference, okay? So, if you look very clearly and observe, it is 
not even required to see all of them. It's very obvious. It's the fourth one. Why? Because see, the smaller circle and the bigger circle shaded area. This are in the opposite ends. In the small part, in the bigger part. Bigger part, small part. Here, this has got completely shaded. Circle has moved here. Here also, this has completely got shaded. Circle has moved here. This is the only fourth one where both of them exist in the same smaller half. Okay. So the circle position and the unshaded area position, you have to see where is the circle moving out. All right. So that's the answer is fourth out of the two. Next one. What's the tell me what's the answer? Okay, yes, the answer is, is the first image correct because if you look at it from the arrow pointer, you look at first, second, the third is a pointed outward figure here. Whereas if you look at all the rest of them from the arrow, the fourth spike is the bigger one, the lengthiest one. Fourth spike lengthiest from the arrow, fourth spike lengthiest from the arrow, fourth spike lengthiest. So only in this one. So the answer is four. Okay. Last question for the day, you look at it, you will see, again, okay, it's depending on the number of spikes which are coming from outside here. So, B is the answer. Okay. So, I hope all of you guys have understood a very easy and a highly scoring kind of question of visual reasoning, which is called as the odd one out. Just build your observation skills. You need to make sure you test yourself on all of them. See, are they parallel or not? Are the number of elements same? or the number of sides to a triangle or a figure, you know, parallelogram which is there, the orientation of various elements, are they moving in clockwise direction, anti-clockwise direction, or the mere positioning of it, you know, to the right and left, where it is being positioned, that's it. So these are only a few couple of things which you need to build an act for observing and rest will be able to make sure you crack all the visual reasoning questions. Okay, I hope this session was helpful for you to understand Another basic concept of odd one out, we will discuss the rest of them as well also in the upcoming sessions. Please make sure you guys stay tuned to the CV Daily Series. If the videos have been helping you guys, feel free to share, like and drop into your comments and as well as subscribe to the channel so that you won't miss out on any further updates. For people who have not yet started giving mocks, I would recommend you all to start at the earliest. You can check out the Cat King mocks which is going to give you a practice of all the different types of visual reasoning, verbal, logical reasoning, different questions which are actual CET level. Alright, all the best. Stay tuned. Do well.